We had worked on this lesson before earlier this year, but now we've added a few things to it. So basically we went into Maya, created a 3D plane, and then we uh, divided it into different sections. And then we chose uh, some of the faces and we extruded them down to make a room, if you will. So we had to make sure, students had to make sure they left a hallway to get through. So in this case, they could walk here, here, either way here, and then go through here. So when <clears throat> we bring it into our video game, Unity 3D, we can then traverse this area. If they didn't do it correctly, if we had a wall right here, if this was up, we'd be stuck right there. So our um, controller or model we bring in would not would only be able to move to those two spots or from here on just through here. So we got to make sure they leave a space there. Once they've done that, we brought it into Unity 3D. So you can see the um, um, model here. There it is. Uh, we scaled it right now so they get a good chance to work on scaling, rotation, position. So it gives them a lot of good geometry practice, uh, especially when they bring this in because it's really small. So you have to scale it up, keep the proportion right. Um, they didn't have to use physics. So if we don't use physics, um, it's going to fall. So we have to make sure we uh, create physics on it um, so that it'll stay in space and that also that our character doesn't run through these walls. So we made a physics on it and also a collider. We then created a camera. So you're seeing the camera right here and that's the camera view. And so when they first do this, this player will run, but once the camera loses sight, like if he goes over here, um, you can no longer see him. So it's you know really ineffective um, for viewing what they did, viewing the game. So we have to teach them how to take their camera and then put it inside the third person controller. So this is what's called a prefab. It comes with Unity 3D. Um, and you can see it here. So these are our assets. This is, we then imported in the room from Maya, which is right here and brought it up there. So when we play the game, because we have the camera inside the um, person, We can then run and move. So they have a chance to uh, to work with it, play it. Notice he cannot run through the uh, the walls. So if he tries, he's going to hit a wall. So we have solids inside there, we have physics inside there, um, and they also get a chance to fool around with the, uh, the different commands that control the game and move through it. So we are getting there rapidly.